here we are in the field again and Terry's now got a crumbler on here and that's gonna basically break down the plough those spring sort of things at the front they, they uh, level it out and then the thing behind breaks it all up here we go look at that it's quite a big hefty machine it's really wide He's already been over it a couple of times, so it's actually pretty bro broken down. I mean, when you think that was a ploughed up field, it was pretty uneven, couldn't really walk on it very easily. Now it's actually quite a nice seed bed. Here we go, look. So you can pretty well, you know, we're not that far off planting, although a few more passes, I think it's going to. Sort of rotivate it or something and then uh, drill it. just come out of James's furlong and they're just now breaking down the soil ready for the seed bed. Now this thing will make it really fine. Oh, it's a bit dusty. There we go, you can see the difference. So on the right hand side of this picture is before it's been cultivated down. The left hand side has been done. And if you look the right, it's all sort of uneven, quite a big lumps. And we come over to the left, very fine. Seeds go in that, no problem. Terry's just come in the field now and we're just doing the first round. Oh, he's reversing back. He's not going to run me over. I think I'd better get out of the way. There we go. Starting off in this corner here. Dropping down. So we can see the tool going 
there. In fact, that is the drill there. I don't expect we'll see the seed coming out. You can see it's all shiny from where, where it's gone through the ground. I imagine that I dig in a bit. Terry's drilling now. See a sort of dust cloud all around him. Nice backdrop of the uh, Hawthorn. Two thousand seeds per, I think it's acre, or well, it could be hectare. I'll have to check on that. Going in here, very accurate drilling on this. Anyway, I'm going to leave Terry to it. Once this is finished drilling, that'll be it then. Might get a roll in, but other than that, it'll be left to grow onto maize and we'll come back and have a look at it when it's all germinated.